Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today, we're talking about a brand new equip spell revealed, and it's actually a pretty good generic doozy of a card that we're going to take a look at here. It's very, very interesting. Um, it definitely has some potential going forward, and we'll talk about that today. So let's just get into it here. This is the only card revealed today. This is Age of Overlord stuff, so 48 cards, I believe, after this one. Still very cool though. Okay, so this is Angel Ring. It is this a Mayakashi girl? She kind of makes me think of Mayakashi, but I don't know. Is this already a card, uh, a character from a card? I don't know. Uh, okay, here we go. This is an equip spell card. You can only equip it to a monster you control equipped with another equip card. That is the biggest restriction on this card, saying that you not only need a monster, but you need a monster that already has an equip, which does limit a little bit of uh, the application for this card, for sure, but it's not dead because the payoff is way better than most equip spells in the game. You can only control one angel ring. That's pretty par for the course for a lot of uh, modern equip spells. Second effect, negate the effect of your opponent's first spell card or effect that resolves each turn. Hoo-wee! Okay, and then third effect, once per turn, you can gain 500 life points and then destroy this card. And if you do, your opponent cannot target the monster it was equipped to with card effects. That's not a huge deal. I mean, I, I guess it gains you life points, so this does give you a potential win condition in time during the main phase. So that's kind of nice, I guess. Um, but other than that, I don't really think you're going for this for like the targeting protection effect. Um, the only other thing I could think of is maybe if a card gets triggered, like when an equip spell is like sent from the field to the graveyard while it's equipped to them or something like that. That's really all I can think of. So uh, that one's not super, super relevant, but it, it, it could come up in like very niche scenarios. The big thing here is it's a spell negate. It's just a spell negate, and I love that this is any spell card, not normal spell card or anything, so even uh, versus decks that play quick effect, uh, you know, quick play spells or continuous spells, uh, any of that stuff, it is, the first one is always negated. That is really nice. Um, now listen. This card is not super, super generically applicable to the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, right? This card cannot just be because you have to control a monster already equipped with an equipped spell. This restriction is actually pretty big, and I think it really limits the deck to mainly two main decks that could potentially play this. Um, because, you know, you have to not only, you have to be able to consistently uh, and through an eruption put a monster on field with an equip spell. And I think there's only really two decks that we can even look at and consider this card. The first one is clearly and obviously Infernoble Knight. Uh, this is, that's the best deck in the game as far as e making use of equip spells and, uh, you know, having a really good engine and going first and all that stuff, especially with their new support that just came out in, uh, uh, Duels Nexus. Uh, so where we end up is a really interesting place because Infernobles is one of those decks where I've seen some play of some cards such as uh, Metal Silver Armor, uh, where you equip it, you use um, uh, Charles. Charles' effect to equip himself with Metal Silver Armor on the end phase, and then it just becomes a pretty brutal lock. Your opponent can't target anything anywhere. Their monsters, your monsters, spells and traps, nothing, except for the monster it targets, and then if that monster has targeting protection, then it's a really pain in the ass lock, where like no targeting can happen anywhere. And it shuts off a lot of cards in the game that you didn't realize would be turned off by it. So... Do you play that or do you switch to this? Because they kind of fill a similar role. It's kind of a brick. That's kind of like the basic part is like both of them you don't really want to draw because you have a card like Charles that could just equip them straight from the deck. So that's, you know, obviously the downside there. But um, I do think this one's a little bit different and I think it could have more matchup wide um application whereas metal silver armor may just auto win you some duels but it also may be completely irrelevant in certain other duels so that's definitely another thing to consider for sure um so it's hard to say it really really is um because this one actually just straight up adds an interruption to your board um especially if your opponent kind of has a hand where they have to lead with dark ruler kind of thing and they're just like dang i really just have to like throw this dark ruler into this angel ring and just pretty much throw it into the wind um like a pretty big bummer um so 
it, it's really cool. I think it's cool. I, I think it has options there. I think the other deck is Mikanko, uh, the more pure variant that's going to play more of the equips and stuff. They do have... Uh, I don't think they have a ton, multiple ways, but I think they have a way to get any generic equip out of the deck, which is really nice. Um, that definitely... Um, could be nice and being able to just quick equip it with this and give you an extra spell negate is pretty good. Plus, there are going to be matchups like Sky Strikers every once in a while where uh, the fact that this card negates the first spell card every turn is pretty incredible because then it's just every single turn. it's You negate something on your turn, you're negating a Widow Anchor on your uh, on your next turn when you try to play, and so on and so forth. Every single turn, they're, they're losing a card essentially for free, which is pretty sweet. Um... Yeah, I, I think this card's really interesting. Will it see play over Metal Silver Armor? I'm not sure. Will Metal Silver Armor even see play? I'm not totally sure what the best builds look like, but it is another really nice option. And listen, we really only have two legit decks in Yu-Gi-Oh that play with equip cards at all. You never know. We've got a new TCG exclusive deck coming up. We've got, you know, we're always getting new archetypes here and there all over the place. They come up with a new archetype that has you know the that makes use of equip spells and has some generic tool to get access to an equip from deck on the opponent's turn kind of thing then maybe this card comes into play but those are really the two main options i see so far for this card it's pretty nice or you know also it's one of those things where it's like do you just side it because it does give you a little bit of uh, extra protection versus those blowout cards the dark rulers of the world and my camera's off but that's no big deal we're almost done here anyway it's very cool. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's a cool card. I definitely think it's worth considering. I'm going to pick it up just because I want to have it for when I do mess around with those equip spell based decks. And just in case there is a format or scenario where this card does come up, I definitely think it could, especially with cards like I sold, cards like some of these just generic equip spell searchers that do exist in the game and in certain archetypes. I definitely think this card could be a neat little tool going forward so this is a cool one for me this is a this is a win for me this is just a nice there's one card in the set it's going to be an under the radar card but this could absolutely be a, a like a huge piece of a uh, a competitive deck uh, equip spell based down the line so very cool to me uh, let me know your guys thoughts down below if there's any specific synergies that i didn't mention here or any other archetypes that you think it could come up in please let me know your thoughts down below but i'm out of for today stay subscribed for more information on new Age of Overlord reveals as well as anything else new to this beautiful game we all know and love. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.